Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and enjoy what you heard, like, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It'll greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for visiting my channel today. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you, too. Today, I'm listening to deep, positive energy meditation music. Wipe out all, wipe, wipe out all negativity. Relax mind, body, and soul healing music. I will go ahead and put that link in the description box below. I actually meditated to this for like about an hour right before I made this video and it really made me reflect on a lot of things that I'm going through. And it um and that's what I'm about to put in my for my video today. Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, make peace with your past even when your past is not making peace with you. We go through so many things and we have harbingered over guilt, anger, abuse. We, we, we really hold on to stuff like that. And it's just a lot of reasons I, I don't know. You know, we, we do that and it can be very painful for the things that we go through and we run away from our problems. And it was a lot of things that's coming up and you know, and I had to make peace with my adopted father and if you've been on this journey with me you would know that that had to be something that was <laughs> very touchy to do but I know with my dad's uh anniversary coming up in, in eight days I know I had to make peace with that because you never know what will be in store for you and I had to keep thinking that to myself you know you want blessings for yourself you want love and light and you spread it amongst people but, you know, you always giving, you know, advice like you have to let it go. But you, all, I had to look at myself. You have, I had to let that go. And even though, you know, they were trying to add salt on the wound and, you know, throwing stuff in my face and stuff like that. I just know that I couldn't, you know, stoop down to their level. I can't allow them to steal my joy. And I had to, you know, reflect on that yesterday. That's the reason why I didn't make a video yesterday because I was in really a funky mood. And, you know, and it's been a touchy subject for me, especially when it comes to my dad's anniversary and not getting the justice that he deserves because, you know, with him being murdered and stuff like that, not knowing what actually happened or what's going on. And it's just like you hear so, you know, I hear so many different things and it's just like, I just want to be able to heal from that. And it's just like, I, I, I appreciate all the prayers for people that have sent prayers out for me and know the things that I went through and stuff like that. And I, I knew that I was a lot more, much stronger than the problems that I have. And that's why a lot of problems that we have that we don't recognize, that we are stronger than the problems that we have to deal with on a daily basis, especially when it has to come to our childhood with us growing up, us finding out things that really is not so pretty. And with you being a hey Oka, you know you've been through hell and high water and come back, but we have to make peace with our past, even when our past is not trying to make peace with us. And it's just when I look at the people that call themselves my family, you know, I have to think, you know, family doesn't do this to you. Normal people don't go out their way to hurt you. They don't they don't try to go out their way to belittle you or try to make, you know, turn family members against you and stuff like that. So I had to really, you know, dig down deep and just like find that confidence in yourself. Be strong. Know that your problems are never bigger than your blessing. You know you have something so much more to offer the world. And that's sometimes we we were guilty of doing that. We will quit, we will give up on things when we feel like we're scared and confused and when it seems like it's too hard and you know when you want things they're not going to come easy to you and that this I had to prove that to myself you know and it, it, it's just so many things we're tested every day 
when I, you know, and I said, and it was just like not even 20 minutes after I felt so good about forgiving them for, you know, even though they never told me sorry, you know, they added, you know, more to it. And I'm just like, I had to pray to God, like, you know, when I try to forgive them for something, they're adding on to it just to push me more, to make me more mad. And it's like, I can't allow them to keep doing that to me. That's part of their control. And I, you know, I'm just because they, they, you know, they're trying to get my, my kids to get, you know, come around them more or whatever. I said, you can't control me like that. So I have to keep moving. I have to keep, you know, I'm not going to stop telling my truth and stop living in my truth. Because there's so many of us that are coming out, especially with us knowing we're Hayokas. And it's a very rare thing for, you know, it to be talked about. It's like, it seems like it's a taboo thing because you really don't hear about it too much. And it's just learning about myself and learning and making videos and letting people know, you know, you're going through things. And I know you're going through a tough time and you might be going through them right now. And you need that reminder to let you know, find that inner confidence, find that inner strength and be able to let go of things. Even when, you know, misery loves company, you know, there's a lot of people who are not going to want to see you excel on things because they feel like you're going to be competition towards them. Or they feel like, you know, you can really do this, but they don't have that confidence in themselves to be able to excel what they want to do. So they'll try to bring you down. So you can't allow that to keep happening. You can't you can't give up just right before the finish line. And that there's a lot of us that do that. And I get frustrated sometimes, especially thinking about things and how much they hurt. But you have to allow yourself to feel those things. And if you want love and you want those blessings, you have to be able to forgive the things that you were not able to forgive before. And I had to learn that. I really had to learn that. But it is just like, it can be hard at times. It really can. But if you want to be able to have a better future, you have to be able to let go of your past so your past doesn't mess up your future. And sometimes it's like, how can your past mess up your future? And it can. It truly can. Because if we don't let go of the things that has kept, kept us held down and bolted like that, it we can carry that on into our new chapter and you don't want to do that. So, you know, I'm, I know it's hard because I know I'm going through it myself and I know I had to just take a break in for me to re reflect because this is something I've been feeling for the last few days and then when I finally act on it, I have to, you know, I have to keep hearing, you know, that voice in my head, what you're doing is not in vain. What I'm doing is not in vain. Trust it, you know, the people that are hiding things, you, when you know that people are doing things to you intentionally and you are, are coming towards them with a good place, from a good place, and you keep going through that and you're trying to figure out, you don't understand why when you're trying to be that better person, it feels like nobody's hearing you. Trust me, that, that kindness, that act of kindness, even though they don't show it towards you, will go a long way for you. And just remember that karma and God is setting up that they give them that own rope just to design their, design their own noose and their own hangman just believe that because when you feel like you know people are getting away with things and you know you're trying to do what you need to do and I know I must be talking something good because I got that ringing in my ear because I'm getting that download you, you will feel that and you will know it's like at the end of that line all the things that people did to you when you finally get where you need to get. Don't don't forget though you know the bad things that happen to you. They're gonna help you succeed. The good things that happen to you, they're gonna help you succeed. Because they're both are a tool for you to be able to excel to the level that you meant to be. So, you know, when I'm going through these things, I can't allow my family of what they've done and, you know, even though they know they what they have done. Uh, get in the way of what I'm trying to do because I know I'm trying to push out positive and love and positivity con conquers anything and you have to remember that but I'm not trying to hold you up today I hope everybody has a safe weekend be responsible at everything you do I will keep you in my prayers and I hope you definitely keep me in yours and send out as much love and light and positivity as possible and I will see you on my next video much love, peace and be wild